And every time I close my eyes, I thank the Lord that I've got you. And you got me too. <laughs> Happy Saturday, beautiful people. It's Trini Charnay. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. Stick around. Today, I'm doing a hair review from True Glory Hair. Now, this is a hair boutique. This is my first time ever partnering with a brand. They're also sponsoring this video, so shout out to them. Um, that is kind of like a hair boutique. And I thought it was really cool because they're based out in Georgia. They also have boutiques out in North Carolina. They have like all these locations and all these services they offer. Um, and they do sell, you know, hair products, bundles, wigs, wholesale. They just have a lot of things going on and a lot of things that they offer that I have not come across a company like this before. So I was super excited because guess what? Hashtags do work, guys. I've been putting Atlanta, Atlanta, Georgia, ATL hashtags in a lot of my photos and I'm getting seen and approached by businesses in other states. And I think that that's <sighs> influencing is working, guys. It's working. Anyways, <laughs> so I'm going to get into the specs and details about the unit that I chose. I decided to go for a shorter length this time and I want to kind of jazz it up a little bit do something a little bit different, give it that bob effect that I'm kind of going for for the summer. So let's go ahead and get into this unit. So this is the cute little box that it comes in. Oh, hello, gorgeous. Oh, stop. <laughs> no, I'm joking. Uh, this is the packaging. <laughs> I really do love this packaging. I think it's super cute. Uh, it comes like with this little guide on how to properly take care of the hair, which is super important if you want the hair to last. Um, but also talks about like their other products and other details and such. And then we open this beautiful, beautiful wig waiting for me. Uh, let's get a closer look, shall we? All right, so the wig that you are looking at is their 14 inch virgin Brazilian straight lace front wig. It is a 13 by four, 150% density, and it is retailing for $279. But when you first sign up on their website, there is either a 20 or 25% off coupon that you can use at your purchase. All right, so let's get a closer look at her. Um, it looks like she, they tried to put a, a little part here somewhere in the middle, but looking at the hairline, doesn't look like I'll have to do too much to it. Um, I may go in and tweeze just a little bit, but I think they did a pre pretty decent job as far as the hairline. It did not come with baby hairs. So we will have to create those, you know, still perfecting those skills on that. But I think for 150% density, for this to be a straight unit, that this is pretty typical. So I'm just gonna customize it a little bit. I wanna add curls to this unit. I don't want it to be just a plain straight unit. So you're going to watch me do that in the next clips and then I'll be back to share my thoughts and details, pros and cons. You know how this goes. See you in the next clip.
Oh, we gonna talk about it. Come on, let's talk about it. Let's get into it, y'all. <laughs> okay. Oh, where do we begin? Um, Wanna start with the pros or the cons or? Let's start with the pros, okay? One of my pros about this unit would be it didn't take a whole lot to kind of customize it. I did like that it already kind of came with a part and I just kind of worked off of that part. I thought I was gonna have it like right here in the middle, but it wasn't given the middle. It was kind of given like a little bit of a side. And me, if you know me, I usually put my uh, side parts like over here, but I was like, let me get inside a try. And I'm glad I gave it a try because it actually worked out. Let me swoop that little thing right there. Um, let's see, it laid very well to the lace glue that I use. Shout out to Janet Collection and Isha Glue because that glue is super easy to use. Like, you don't have to do the ball cap method or anything, and I know this video isn't about that glue, but the glue, like, made this install, like, super easy to kind of lay the unit on it. Like, it literally, the glue dries in, like, 10 seconds. And so, it is taking, like, it ain't moving, it ain't giving me no trouble. So, you know, find your good adhesive for this unit because you're gonna you, you're gonna need it. I wasn't able to pull this one off glueless. Keep that in mind. Another pro would be I didn't get uh, a lot of tangling and shedding. The only shedding I got on this unit was when I um, plucked it. So of course, like that's gonna cause some of the hair to come out. But outside of that, I didn't get any excess shedding or any or tangling with this unit. Um, I think it took very well to the heat. Uh, I used a hot comb and I used a curling iron on this. So I was able to put just a little bit of curls in here because uh, I didn't want it to be like bone straight. I wanted to see, you know, could it hold a curl? And it's holding a curl. It almost made me want to like officially make this my little side bang, you know, because that would be like super cute to kind of have that little, you know, how, that dramatic swoop effect that people... I'm being extra, but like that dramatic swoop effect, it, you know, it kind of gives it a vibe. I didn't want to mess it up, so I did not do that, but it almost naturally gives it on it on its own, so I do like that. But outside of those things, I would say it was fairly easy to apply, but I'm going to get into the cons just so I can talk more about like customizing, customizing this unit and just some of the things I noticed as I was going through that customization process. So let's talk about that. Are you ready to talk about these cons now? You know I gotta be honest, all right? Let's get into my first con. Matter of fact, if you know me or have watched videos on my channel before, what do you think my first con would even be in the first place? The thing I love the most, this unit is kind of lacking, I'm sorry, but it's true. So. It's not giving the volume and density it's supposed to give. I know it's supposed to, well, it was intended to be a straight unit, but it's giving limp. Like I added some curls and there's, there's no volume. I try to zhuzh it up and there's no volume. Like it could be misleading. Like maybe even if it was like a little bit shorter, cause I almost thought about like cutting this unit cause I wanted like to go for like a 10 or a 12 inch and they don't have that on their site. They start at 14 inches. So I almost did that to kind of give it that short bob look effect. And I still may go in and do that, but these back, like y'all, like it's, it's thin. Like it's so, I'm sorry, but it's thin. Oh, that would be my biggest con because it's it's doing everything everything else like that would be the only thing and sometimes you can kind of fake it till you make it but if you try to pull all this together shout it I mean girl girl if you try to pull all this together it's just not it's just not there so that's my first con second con would be I would like them to pluck the hairline just a little bit more and also go ahead and carve out those baby hairs for us so that we don't have to do all of that customizing um the only thing that made this install take a little bit longer for me was trying to add some curls you know trying to flatten it out some because as you can see you're always going to have to like flatten out the part um it was very poofy but having to define the part pluck the hairline you know create baby hairs from scratch 
uh, add some curls to this unit, try to fluff it out to give it some volume. You gotta kind of put some effort into it, you know what I mean? Uh, I really think that uh, because it has, um, because it is big head friendly, it's a little bit roomy, you can of course like bring that in, but these, this part here is going to stick up. It's not gonna lay flat to your scalp by itself, especially because there's no elastic band in here. It doesn't make, you know, um, the hairline snug where you could wear it glueless. So keep that in mind that you're gonna have to, like I said, use an adhesive for this unit. Also, another con another con would be the price of this unit. So for the 14 inch, 150% density, $279, and it's not giving enough volume in this unit, and you're, it's going to take some customizing it to get it to the way that you want it. I kind of feel like it's overpriced, um, especially for a 14 inch. Now, if it was like a 20 inch or something like that, or if you were able to get like 150, I mean 180, 200 percent density to make it a lot more fuller, then I can sort of understand the price. But I don't think I would pay 279 dollars for a 14 inch unit, no matter what it was or where it came from. That's just my honest opinion. This was gifted to me, but if I was the person purchasing it, I would feel like it's kind of overpriced. Sorry, I had to say it. Sorry uh outside of that i need to tell y'all a mistake i made tell me why this happened with another unit i did before i literally burned a hole in the lace with my hot comb and i think that's a sign that i need to invest in a better hot comb where i can actually adjust the settings because i also be low-key burning my synthetic units i know i know but i was able to disguise that by swooping those baby hairs, y'all. I told y'all, I'm practicing, I'm getting there. So those are my pros and cons about this unit. I was able to kind of finesse it, get it to my liking. And those cons would be just some things that I would hope they can maybe like tweak or consider about this particular unit. There goes that earring. But yeah, let me know your thoughts in the comments. Be sure to follow me on Instagram for my next wig review. Also, send me some suggestions. Uh, send me some suggestions about some units that you would be interested in me trying, reviewing, showing you all how to install them. I would love to hear y'all thoughts. And until next time, I will see you in my next video. Uh, <laughs> we doing different intros and outros, y'all, every video. So we got to keep it spicy. I'll see y'all in my next one.